What's up, everybody? Bray here, and I'm at PAX East 2023. I wasn't going to be here, um, but uh, Intel had other ideas. So I do want to give a huge shout out to Intel for sponsoring my trip out here and uh, letting me get up on their stage. In black. Uh, I always like the Asus Tough sort of design language. It sort of has this all that sort of metal frame here. I mean, it's a really nice, chunky GPU. Yes, to talk about pre-builds. Their stage where you get, you know, where they do the live shows, live building, um, BYOPC upgrades, mod workshop, um, eSports announcement, and all kinds of, 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 of shows. Usually mostly centric around DIY and eSports, but they're having me go up there and talk about some of the awesome system integrators that are here in their booth as well, and other ones that are here as well. It, it, it's, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. And uh, I just kind of want to share the experience with you guys. So, you know, let's check it out. So we got my, uh, I mean guys over here, fellow Texans over here, Ironside. Say hi guys. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Kidding. You guys, I, I love, I love the look of the booth you guys got here, man. Thank you. We really wanted to try to make something that felt more like uh, someone's actual home or home office. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like, look at the, you're here in the future technology world. It's like, hey, welcome home. This is your desk. This is your computer that would be on your desk. Right, right. Yeah, very cool. Well. Uh, it was really cool getting to chat with you guys for a while here and looking at some of the systems, the, you know, the new Kaiju one. Um, what is this one called again? Uh, we got the Terabots over here. Terabots, okay. And yeah. We have, uh, Idris over here, which is our oh, of Nordic course. stained glass one. Oh, I have that one. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Oh yeah, gotta love Yggdrasil there, and uh, and the Kaiju one there, and you guys did the uh, the live painting That's of right. the marble one over there, which is just it, it was really cool to witness that. Yeah, everybody kept stopping by like every hour, being like, what's what's the progress rate? Right? Uh, um, who was telling me last night? He's like, why are you painting over that yeah. stone? It's like, no, we're painting the stone. Yeah, the stone is being put onto the computer. Yeah. Well, all right, I, I hope you guys have enjoyed your packs. I mean, I know like the, when, when I'm, I first met y'all here last year and you just had a couple systems here and you're just like walking around. Yeah, it, it just kept uh, evolving. We started with just a podium and then a hallway and now a booth and we're just gonna keep growing and growing, all right. we hope. Well, we'll see y'all at the next one, of course, too. Yeah, of course. I hope, yeah. <laughs> all right. Or I'll just, you know, drive up to Austin and I'll, I'll just uh, see you guys there. Yeah, please do. All right, catch you later. Okay. Now, I want to go say hi to my friends at CLX. 
because they got a central booth here in the Intel space. And um, you see this right here? That's the NV7. Fantex, Fantex, I want one. Don't ghost me, bro. We talked about this. Can I get one too, Fantex? Okay, now they're not gonna answer, because that's too many. You know, how many, you know, you know the, these are in huge demand right now. And March 28th, yeah. you can get a system in the Fantex NV7, and your friends will be envy us of you. <laughs> because this thing is freaking gorgeous. And that will be, that's exclusive to CLX, they're the exclusive launch partner for Fantex for the NV7. That's a huge deal, and I love to see things like this happening between component manufacturers and system integrators. Uh, and of course, we have the Hathor systems here. We have two, two Hathor systems. And um, I get to talk about one of these up on the stage. So, um, you know what, in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and include some clips out of the vlog, out of the bot. Why wouldn't I do that? Why wouldn't I do that? Why not? Yeah, I know, don't yell at me. And they had also the really cool streaming station here. I'm really happy because I got to hang out with the Lost Drake again. And uh, Drake, you're freaking awesome, dude. Like, every, I, don't, I don't know, that guy's, he's just hype all the time. He's super hype, yeah, he's great to be right, he's good energy. Some people are like born to be a streamer. Yep, like yep. that's that's him 100%. Yeah, sure, so yeah. Well, I am expecting to get a crate like this at the new studio pretty soon. Once the, um, can I talk about- Cool thing. At all or no? I'm not sure, it'd probably be yours. Okay, that's, that, that's so, gonna be bleaked out. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, okay. And that's going to be hilarious, actually. Yeah. Uh -huh. Can I talk about that Tom beep secret. or not? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was really awesome meeting you, by the way. It was really good meeting you, yeah. too. I had a good conversation, so I, I really like that. George. How's it going, guys? What's up, dude? How, how, how was PAX for you? Awesome. Yeah. And, uh, it's been great. It's nice. Uh, it's, I wasn't able to make it last year, so it's nice to be back. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, you guys had a really strong showing with some really unique... Like, that's the thing is... It, you're not just coming here with like, oh, this is another computer, and this is just another one. Each of these systems represents something unique here. Yeah, it's uh, we're uh, we're really excited. You know, we're very thankful for our partners at Intel, um, allowing us to basically continue some of the really cool stuff that we did last year. Yeah, and you know, bring it into this year and just uh, level it up once again. Right, right. Um, it's funny, I, guys. I know it looks like I don't know what to do with my hands right now. I have a microphone right here, so I'm trying to make sure you can hear them. All right. Yeah. No. I, I, I see. We got the mic now, so y'all make sure you be able to hear. Him. But you know, I, I didn't do like a bunch of interviews on this one. I this is you know this is my first time being here like with a comp with a company like having a company bring me out. So it was a little weird for me. But are you? Guys, is there going to be a DreamHack in Dallas again? Yes. And when is yeah. that, When is that going to be? DreamHack Dallas. I believe it's in. I want to say June. It's usually middle of the year. So I'm going to try to make it to that because I can just drive to that. Yeah. DreamHack. DreamHack Dallas will be there. We will be. Um, Two weeks from now, we'll be in uh, San Diego. Right, right. So DreamHack right. San Diego. So that's going to be awesome. You guys, uh, if you guys get an opportunity, come check us out over there. You we'll have 250 computers. Yeah. You got to check out CLX at, at DreamHack because, like, that's their stomping grounds for the longest time. Yeah, uh, we uh been there six years now, I think. You know, at DreamHack Dallas last year, we set up this awesome interview with, like, three cameras. And then I did, I only had the footage from like one camera afterwards. Yeah. And, and that's, it sucks because you gave me your time to do that. It's not a big deal. But uh, I do like your explanations. Like, yeah, we could put out the video, but it's just me. It's talking. just my face. It was just the one on my face. That was it. Is that, yeah, yeah. But, um, but no, it was really, really cool that that was my first impression of you guys because that's you in your strength. Yeah. That's definitely, um, that's. For us, you know, we love we love PAX and we love what they do. But DreamHack is uh, aligns very well with our brand. We're uh, we like to we believe we're very experiential. It's about you know um, interacting with end users. It's about letting you guys really feel the system, touch them, and and get your own opinion about you know what we're doing in our workmanship. Right. And you know, if you want to speak of experience, George here has all of it. All right. I mean, OG Origin yeah. and Alienware, right? Yep. Alienware. I mean, like. You've been there. You've done all of it, and you're, you brought all of that to CLX. Yeah, I think uh, I think there's a there's a lot of us in the industry that uh, that can say that we uh, started at Alienware, and uh, we've moved on to a lot of different things. I stayed in tech. A lot of other guys moved on to software, game development. But um, yeah, man, there's a uh, there's a lot of us out there that that you know, thanks to Alienware, um, has helped uh, build our careers. Yeah, man. Well, uh, I can't wait to see you at the next one, and I'll definitely drive up for Dallas. That's for awesome. sure.
Yeah, we'll um, link up over there. We'll we'll shoot the we'll shoot the interview there with all the cameras, and right. uh, it'll be cool. Because I'm driving, I will bring most of my studio. How about that, <laughs> uh, dude? We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll have backups to the backups. The, exactly. It's gonna be exciting. We'll talk about it. Soon. Awesome. We'll talk about it soon. All right, man. Awesome, man. Have a good one, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your show. Yeah, and safe travels to you. Safe travels to you. One of the things I love, love about PAX, whether it's PAX East, PAX West, whatever PAX you go to, is the crystallization of gaming culture. And every facet of it is here. Uh, you like tabletop gaming, uh, you know, board games, R you know, tabletop RPGs. You like console, PC, everything is here. And it, it's just, I think most gamers have a little bit of interest in each and a lot of interest in particular ones, and it helps to kind of expand your horizons. Plus, companies show up doing really cool stuff as well. Game developers show up, uh, component manufacturers, uh, pre-built system integrators, of course, um, and uh, some OEMs as well. Uh, there's tons of esports stuff going on, so if you're really into that, this is a great place for that. And uh, I mean, there are, there, I mean, I would, there was a massive like smash tournament yesterday. And I mean, the crowd was going crazy. It was awesome. And uh, I was actually really happy to see it this one because at uh, PAX East last year, when I came out, um, Corsair wasn't really there much. And uh, then at PAX West, they had a, a small booth, but here, man, Corsair is like, you can see him right there. Corsair is like huge here this year. They did a ton, they have this gigantic, stream deck here it's really cool and i got to talk to a few of the people at corsair which was really cool because i bet you know as a content creator who's not a massive content creator and especially that i focus on pre-builds uh I, I you know it's hard to get sometimes on the radars of some of the companies that i want to talk to being able to talk to the right people it can feel impossible it, it's just it feels impossible to to to, to break through sort of the uh <clears throat> sort of, sort of, the, sort of the uh, the walls that do need to be built up for companies like that because of how many requests and 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 missives they receive all of the time, um, and so it was really cool. I got to talk, chat with some of them here, and even with uh, you know some of the people who are in charge of technical design and, and product planning, which is, if you guys know me at all, absolutely awesome. I, I was really excited about that. Um, another thing that you'll find here is a ton of panels, um, the, and these companies, will, uh, all, you know, game devs and uh, well, uh, it's especially game devs and different organizations will host panels to sort of just you know, anyone who's interested gathers in these huge panels and just gets to, to chat with them. Um, I also uh, found an, an an a la carte here. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Say hi to the swarm. Hey guys, how you doing? Yeah, and uh, he's actually helped out a bit with uh, some of the content too, so that's much appreciated, of course. Thanks, buddy. Always but, happy uh, to help, bro. Yeah, and unfortunately, Cuddles couldn't come down uh, for this because this was really, really short notice. We I was you, Cuddles. Oh, <laughs> it was really short notice, though. I was not planning on coming, and literally, very shortly before PAX, I found out I was coming out to PAX. So uh, it's really, it, it, it is. I'm, I'm glad it's turning out uh, as well as as it has. Also, uh, Rocat and uh, Turtle Beach have a huge, uh, like, edifice here too. As you can see, right behind me, um, they they've got man, they had a ton of products. They even had Doctor Disrespect out. So, uh, uh, Mister uh, Doctor Disrespect, uh, question for you: PC or console? Uh, he's way taller than I thought he would be. Also, cardboard. Wasn't expecting that. Very lightweight. Yeah, yeah, really quiet. He's usually loud in his streams. Yes, he is. Maybe he's actually shy. Now, of course, as they do, um, Intel has a huge presence here. And uh, one of my favorite things 
that they have is their um, their artist series products are freaking awesome. The desk pads that they have are some of the most beautiful ones I've ever seen. They get, you know, they get artists that have completely unique art styles, so many different art styles. And I mean, the colors that you get on some of these are absolutely insane. The fact that they get a huge space uh, at these events, and then they give some of that space to system integrators is one of my favorite things about the way Intel handles these events. Uh, plus, you know, you gotta love the, uh, the, the, the stage, the mod workshop. So if you look right behind me, you may see a wild Roby up there doing the mod workshop. Hey Roby, say hi to the nice people. Hey! I wish you guys were dead. <laughs> You you know, just don't 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 meet your heroes. Okay, actually he is awesome. We got some really fun stuff here and I think you guys are gonna love it. So I, I realized something and I feel awful. I wasn't wearing my mask that whole time, and there is a mask mandate here. And if a you know, if a business or event chooses to run things a certain way, I I respect that. Uh, that's that's what you know you get to do here in the United States. You run your business the way you want to run it. And I uh, messed up. I, I, and then they, no one told me a word. No one told me anything. So I feel really bad. Sorry to the uh, sorry to, sorry to all the hardworking people here at PAX for ignoring that rule just because I was vlogging. I'm sorry about that. I really did not mean to do that. But carrying on now. So we're here now. Uh, like the main gear. You know, guys, I, you know, I've talked about main gear and I had some things to say about some of a, a certain system configurations there. But their response to that was actually really, really good. And this was before meeting some of them here. Uh, but speaking to Ron from May Gear, totally, totally cool dude. And we sort of, he, it was really good for me to hear their explanation and, and their processes that help them decide what components they're gonna use. And I get where they're coming from. And one thing that's gonna happen when, uh, when you hear something from me is I'm gonna have something that I am like adamant about and I can agree to disagree though. Um, would I recommend certain things? I wouldn't recommend certain things, but there are other system configurations here as well. And also with Mangari, you can just do a completely custom system in the new MG1, which has one of my favorite features. You know, I wanted to see a new case from Mangari for a while, but uh, my, my favorite thing about the MG1, other than the fact that it does have front panel airflow, is this. This front panel right here has really beautiful, okay, first off, they can print they have artist series things that they print on these, or you can get custom printed stuff on there, like uh, maybe a purple B that we know of. That would be insane, that'd be really cool. But what they did was they put perfectly diffused RGB around this, and they connect it through these contacts here to these pogo pins. So if you have several of these and you just feel like changing up your style, you just, whoop, there we go. I got it, I got it, there we go. I wanted to show I could do it one-handed. There you go. And it just, it just lights right up. I mean, it's absolutely a freaking cool design. And I can tell you, I know, I, I know some work, I, I've done electronics work before. It is not easy to get something like that to work and have it be really stable and really reliable. And it seems like they've done that. And I mean, some of the art that you're gonna see on these is bonkers awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited. We're, they are gonna be sending me one to review, so keep an eye out for that. Make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss that because you know my reviews are not just a bunch of charts that are gonna bore you to tears. It's also about the overall system. And thermals are really important. I do focus on those, but also what you can expect when you get something from a system integrator. You get to see sort of the unique thing that that SI has to offer. And uh, that's really exciting. This one right here, of course, is a uh, one of their custom liquid-cooled, hardline liquid-cooled systems here, the Apex Rush. And it is really, really nice looking. You do have a dual chamber case, bottom intake, and uh, side exhaust is what they're doing, and top exhaust, and rear exhaust. So you have a negative pressure setup here, not the way I would do it. I would, I generally go for positive pressure just to sort of help keep dust out of the system and any non-filtered sort of points of ingress when you have negative pressure, it pulls in dust, but who cares? Like the testing that I now know happens over there at Main Gear, 
I know that they test the thermals on this and they know that, that they are very aware of its strengths and weaknesses and that like I, I, being able to talk to someone there at the company, you have to remember that these companies are not just a website, a logo, a brand name, they're people and they test and they're enthusiastic about what they do. And that's kind of one of the purposes of what I do, my content. I want to show you guys that. Of course, just a quick, a quick hello to Build Redux, by the way. Uh, I did get to meet you guys, and uh, you know, unfortunately, we, did get, we got to talk stuff. It was awesome, and I got, we got to chat about what you guys do, and I, I really appreciate the time you guys spent with that. I hope you really look forward to working with y'all. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for coming by. It's been awesome. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's like, hey, thanks for coming by and bugging us all the time, literally. Now, of course, we got to see our friends over here at RGB Custom PCs, our friends uh, from uh, fellow Texans. And, uh, you know, if they, you guys, you show up stronger everywhere I see you. Thank you. So it, it's, it's, it's always really cool to see you guys. Thank you. Yeah, we, we try. We try to make little little improvements. I was just talking to somebody about that, actually. That, you know, this where we incorporated games from developers that are at PAX, so they sent us codes. Um, to really kind of get in that spirit of PAX. And then we also did the, uh, we set up a live streaming section this, this year. So, um, so yeah, we're trying, trying to grow, trying to And you know, I, I, I really appreciate that you guys offered me to be a part of that. And, and then I was like, I'm not going, I'm sorry. And then right before PAX, Intel's like, hey, come to PAX. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, right. So now I'm like, oh man, that would have been so fun. Yeah, yeah. They did keep me pretty busy though. It, it looked like it, I saw you running around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, these, these, they're, 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 they're ravenous for content. I got to get content to the, <laughs> right. to, to the swarm, right. you know, because right. they do swarm. Yes. But you know, always good seeing you guys. Yeah, you as well. You as well. Take care, man. Have All right. Yeah. We'll, um, we'll, we'll meet up soon. Yeah. In, in Texas. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. I mean, we can totally do that. Definitely. It's a big yeah. state, though. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll see you. So of course, ASUS does like to make a splash at almost every event they go to. Why did I say almost? At every event they go to. Asus had a ton of awesome builds. Their whole lineup of Intel motherboards, of Z790 motherboards, which there are some really beautiful ones there. And uh, an amazing build over here by Stuart of DGF Events. Oh, sorry, Stuart of DGF Events, who is one of my favorite builders. And another of my favorite builders has a build that I have to show you, which I will show you here soon. But like this was in, Oh, hey, hey, there he is. Hey, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, it, what, what did I tell you like five times at CES? <laughs> like five times there, I was like, you know, uh, you're the reason I do montages in every PC oh, review. Yeah. And he was like, you know, you told me that, right? And I'm like, look, it's the meme now. Just just let it happen. Just, I'm gonna keep telling. But the, 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 and, and the thing is, they always like them. So if you guys like them, you better already be subscribed to GGF events because that's where I got that sort of, uh, that the, the, I was inspired to do that by watching your amazing ones, because that, that's what I aspire to. So that's, really, that's, the, that's the blueprint. Yes, awesome. That's good, that's good. That's what I try to do, like the builds I do. They're nothing crazy, they're not all custom scratch builds. I love working with companies like Zeus, Lee and Lee, all, all the case companies. Like that's why I have my own uh, B3000 Plus from Lee and Lee that is a GGF edition. Yes. Like, I, I want to do more I of this. I saw that CES. Yeah, like, I, work, I, I don't like it when a company spends years on a case, they keep it so close to them, they launch it, and there's a lot of flaws. Things aren't right because their own in-house team think they have the knowledge and they know what everyone wants. But things, right. companies like Lee and Lee, they, they will speak to the community. They'll work with other modders, custom builders. Like, I, they sent me eight prototypes of that case over a two-year period. That's and, awesome. And I, I had video calls with them, like conference calls with them. I tested radiators from multiple brands and things like that, and that's why when this case came out, it is a really good case. Yeah. Like it's, it's just things like that that just works well. I am kind of dying to get my hands on a B3000. I know that there's not it's a ton big. of them, but, huh? It's big. Yeah, well, now I got the two-car garage for a yeah. studio. I actually have space for it, so, I don't know, we'll see, but it's, uh, they're, they're, honestly, I think it's a really good time right now in the case market. Yeah. There are some really exceptional cases coming out, oh, yeah. really imaginative, uh, or some that are taking a formula that's already works and doing their own take on it, which yeah, exactly. is good. That's how this should work. Yes, that's right. And now we're seeing cases that 
not only look good from like your front, that typical front corner, the front and that left side corner, but now we're seeing cases that are looking good from the back. Like if your system isn't, isn't next to or like backed up against the wall or something, if you're more in an office environment or somewhere where you, your system's out more in the open, that just makes it a hundred times better. It just looks like a nice case all the way around. Right, right. I, yeah, I'm excited about the MV7 as well. Oh, yeah. I think it's a really good looking case. Good. The price, I'm not going to say the price, but it's really good price. Well, look, yeah, that's the thing. That's the times that we're in, okay? But it's not like you didn't have places like, you know, case lab, uh, uh, you know, case labs out there putting yeah. out really high priced cases, but that were like something really cool. Yeah. And of course, they're coming back. Too. Yeah, exactly. So that'll be, that'll be interesting as well. I mean, look, it's like, if you like to, to to dress, it's like drip for your PC, which that sounds like liquid on your PC, which is bad. Don't do that. Unless it's liquid cooled by Stuart over here. Yes. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's really what you look at the most when you look at your PC is like the enclosure, yes. you know, and then through the glass to the rest of it. But I, I think it's good that there's so much focus on it, plus focus on airflow. Yeah, exactly. There's no exactly. sacrifice like, here. Like people think that like you, as soon as you water cool the case, you don't need airflow, but you need just as much airflow. Like, like when a case releases, a, uh, a company releases the case and the name has the air, the, there's air in the name. I say, oh, I'll have an air, and I do a water cool build in it. So I'm like, what's the point of using this case when you did a liquid cool? Like, you still, you still need, need is just as much air yeah. to keep all the radiators nice and cool to go in and out yeah. as is if you're using just standard air cooler. So it's, it's just, it's just things like that. Airflow is important all around. All around. Yeah. Absolutely. So, but yeah, hey, thanks for chatting with me. Yeah, I no was worries. just walking Any, around. Yep. Yeah. Likewise, always a pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. I'll see you at the next thing. Yep, sounds good. Whatever that might be. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Go subscribe to GDF Events. Pete's sake, it's an amazing channel. Okay, so that was really cool. Stuart took me over to talk to someone over at ASUS, and uh, they were really awesome, really interested in what we're doing. But you know we can't come to something like this. Well, we're going to see our friends over at Height and I buy power. Absolutely. We got to come see our friends over here. But yeah, how's it, how's pack been for y'all? Pretty it's good? good? It's been good, yeah, yeah. We've uh, had some good traffic and uh, been able to talk to a lot of people. Uh, you know, it's, we're still trying to get the Hyatt brand name out there. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know, it's you know, it's, it's actually surprising to me how there's been a ton of people that know about I buy power. Uh, so, but not, not Hyatt yet. So we're good. it's good to kind of uh, let them know about that. Well, I see them feeding into each other, I think, because Height's going to get more attention in the DIY space. Yeah. And um, when they see something, like when someone sa says like, oh, no, that's a really sick looking case. Oh, wait, I could get a, a get PC already built for my, for my friend in that. It's just, it's a great, it, it, it's symbiotic. I'm just vlogging. No, it's just oh, vlogging. Okay, okay. I'm not interviewing or anything. Okay, good, good. No, okay. uh, Pax is good. Pax is good. It's a different crowd this year. Definitely no AAA, uh, AAA um, studios here, but yeah, kind of weird, uh, right? For the most part, yeah. Um, it's still really good traffic. It's still a really good experience. We got Street Fighter VI, uh, an exclusive shared between us and Intel. So it was. We it seems that. huge. I'm like every day that we have it, I'm falling in love with it, and I'm like, please let me take it. Please. All right, dude. Always good seeing you. Right, man. Thank you so much for your support. We gotta Absolutely. get you back into our uh, to our warehouse. Really? Y'all yeah. make some changes over there or what? Uh, in uh, come June, July, yeah, there are gonna be some new things for you to see. Okay. Uh, we'll do that. Absolutely. Okay. Stay tuned for that. Awesome. All right, dude. All right. <laughs> Take it easy. Yeah, King is a genuinely good human being, man. I always like chatting with him. It re it really is just a, a a mecca of gaming here at PAX. So. If you can ever make it out to one, if you're on the East Coast, PAX East, of course, if you're on the West Coast, you go to Seattle for PAX West uh, later on in the year, you have to check it out. The culture here is so cool. Uh, the pin trading culture is really fun. You can tell I'm a little bit into that. Not as much as some of these guys here, though, where they have the whole jackets covered, but yeah, you got your little collection there. I see that. I'm just happy with one acquisition that I made on this trip, and that's this guy right here. Oh man, that is everything. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna cut it off here, guys. Thank you again to Intel for helping me come out here, putting me up on the stage so that I can share my message about free builds and talk about some of the awesome systems that these passionate company, you know, people brought out uh, to, to show off and the, you know, do their giveaways and do all that stuff. Just thank you for letting me be a part of this. 
I cannot wait for the next one, and uh, I hope you guys feel the same. So, until the next one, take care. Say bye. Hey, bye guys. Okay. We'll